Hey guys, Griffin here, and today I want to talk about four big things that Feral should be concerned or aware of going into Season of Discovery. Uh, before we get started, please take the time, like, and subscribe. Okay, guys, number one on the list of people asking me questions is power shifting. Is it going to be a thing? Now, I personally loved power shifting in Classic WoW. It was a lot of fun. You could pump really hard. And I'm happy to say that power shifting will be a thing in Classic Season of Discovery. Now, at level 25, yes, you'll be power shifting. And I have the talent tree here. And I'm going to explain to you why you will be. It's mainly because you're forced to be. So the feral combat tree is garbage at early level. The best talent you can get or early on is sharpen claws and it requires 10 points of investment. Ferocity is useless because you've got mangle and shred. You don't even have ferocious bite yet. This is just stealth. This is PVP. This is tank. This is tank. And this is just for speed and cat dodge. Everything else garbage. Sharpen claw. Okay, cool. So you can put three points of sharpen claw Increase your critical strike by 6% and then put some other points somewhere so you can put one point in Proof Shred or one point in Blood Frenzy. Not amazing. A, a big waste of talent points. Instead, the play is actually to go power shifting, invest in Fuhrer, and then go down and pick up Natural Weapons and Omen of Clarity. Yes, you're going to waste points here. Do whatever you want. The reason you're going to want to do this is because power shifting is the only way you're going to be able to even do any sort of sustained damage because Shred is so absolutely expensive in fact people might not even be using shred at 25 they might just spam mangle because it's so much cheaper and if that's the case you probably won't have to power shift but if you're trying to do the shred power shift this is the talent for you so if you're thinking hey is power shifting going to be a thing yes now i do want to talk about why shred is not viable or really not great at this level because again mangle might work out better and it's because of improved shred and wolf's head helm now, when you power shift right now at level 25, you're going to get 40 energy back plus a tick. So you're going to get 40 energy plus 20 extra energy from when the tick happens, giving you 60, which is just enough to do one shred. Now, if you were to spend two points in improved shred, which you can at 25, you can only spend one, it would reduce it down to 48, which is a more reasonable price. However, because of the tick system in Classic WoW, you get 20, 40, and 60 energy. That means if you're at 40 energy, and your spell costs 48 energy or your spell costs 60 energy, you still have to wait the full duration of the tick and then use it. And because you're power shifting, it doesn't matter because as soon as you spend that, you'll be shifting it because it's not enough. Having 60 minus 48 is only going to leave you with 12. So even with another tick of 32, the only thing you'll be able to spend it on is SR. Not enough. It's just not enough of a cycle to make sense. So because of that, improved shred doesn't make sense until 40 when you have Wolf's Head Helm. You don't, if you don't know what Wolf's Head Helm is, essentially it gives you 20 more energy. So you have 60 plus 20 for your power shift, which is a total of 80. If you reduce the improved shred down to 48, when you use it from 80, it reduces you down to, let me make sure I get this right, 32. Which then if you add a tick to 32, gives you 52, giving you enough to do one more shred inside of a power shift so two shreds per power shift which is what you're expecting to do that won't happen until 40 so at 25 improved shred doesn't make any sense so the play is to actually go with omen of clarity and then fear now if you don't want a power shift at all you can drop the points from fear and get natural shapeshifter or ferocity but because the there's not a lot in the feral combat tree you're really kind of trapped to either power shift or be utility with improved leader of the pack or improve uh mark of the wild so yeah at 25 this is gonna be your play okay power shifting done next thing is mcp now why is this even a concern everyone knows what mcp is manual crop -Palmer. the problem is this image right here i think it's up here yeah so this image implied to a lot of people that the 40 level 40 10 man raid or 15 man or 20 man raid who knows is going to be no again, which does make sense. It's a very large dungeon, sure. However, the problem is if they turn it into a raid, that is where you farm MCPs. And if you can't farm MCPs in no again, then you can't use MCPs the way we had in the past. And if you take away MCPs, even if you're giving a Savage Roar and um, Wild Strike and uh, Mangle, it won't balance us back out. So all these other classes are getting these huge boosts in their damage 
we will get a boost but then by losing mcp we're back down to here and nobody wants to be back down here we want to stay up here with our mcp pumping so with that being said we don't know if no is going to be a 10-man raid but if it is going to be a 10-man raid i hopefully blizzard has come up with a solution for not having mcp and i hope it's not taking away mcp and giving us a rune i would rather us keep mcp it's fun if anything can you just take the charges off of mcp problem solved problem solved but hey whatever um i don't care we'll see what happens i just want to put that out there mcp is a concern for feral druids right now next thing is wild strike so if you don't know what wild strike is wild strikes plural um, this is a new rune. It says while you are in cat form, bear form, or dire bear form, party members within 20 yards gain increased combat, combat ferocity. Each melee hit has a 20% chance of granting the attacker an extra attack with 20% additional attack power. No effect the party is already benefiting from Wind Fury Totem. Sounds great. If you played Classic WoW, you might know that ferals don't benefit from Wind Fury Totem. And since this is being treated like a Wind Fury Totem for ferals, there is concern that wild strikes might not work for ferals, the class that provides it. Now, if the, it does work, that's great. But does it also mean that Wind Fury Totem will now work for ferals? Because if only wild strikes works for ferals, then Wind Fury Totem is the inferior Wind Fury Totem. Therefore, shamans are taking a hit, and now ferals are required to carry wild strikes. Which if you're only running one tank feral, they might take wild strikes over survival of the fittest, which is putting them at risk. Ugh. Again, something to be concerned about. Hopefully we'll find out more. If you know any information, let me know in the comments. But yes, wild strikes as a wind fury totem, a little concerning. And last, this is a big deal specifically to me. <sighs> All of classic WoW, ferals had to deal with one big reality. We have no AoE none we don't get a, a half decent aoe like bears do where they can swipe three targets we don't get hurricane with a one minute cooldown like balanced druids do which essentially is no aoe whatsoever the whole druid meta has no aoe in classic and when the runes came out someone surely had to think hey let's give let's give druids an aoe something and they didn't and i'm really shocked by that now we're only at level 25 and they said there are more runes to come hopefully some of those runes will say the word swipe or maybe we can create something that looks like this is this is a thing can we create this I, I don't know just do this thing I, don't, I just made it up regardless i do think that's a concern if you're going to be a feral especially because these low level dungeons they'll probably have a lot of aoe cleaves you're gonna have a lot of mages taking your spot a lot of literally at shaman can now aoe so many classes have aoe and they just they just missed it with uh, ferals. Anyway, guys, that's the main concerns I have for ferals going into Season of Discovery. Let me know what you think. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I am missing out on something I should be paying attention to. Either way, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, take care.